is my um, chicken coop automatic door video. This is the uh, photo cell that'll operate the uh, chicken coop door. This is my little chicken coop, complete with the bay window. That's a pig. So, of course what I did this for is so the chickens go out and come back in every night and I don't have to worry about predators. So, um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about um, different types of chicken coops and every chicken coop doors and everything is very complex. So, all I did is I uh, mounted a um, mounted a uh, Honeywell actuator here. This is HVAC stuff. It's a damper actuator. Um, there's the model number. It is just a two position spring return. Now what that means is there's just a hot and a neutral going to it. When you energize it, I've made it so the door comes up and when you de-energize it, a spring takes it down. Now I did this so in the middle of the night if there's a power outage, <coughs> it goes down. You can get actuators either floating point, which means you have to give them power to go up and power to go down. You can buy them with or without spring returns. So I went with a spring return. Um, there is a plate here that you can get with the actuator. It's kind of got these little uh, prong things that hold it from moving. And then this plate back here, I should have showed it when I put it together. It's got a bearing that's kind of made for this stuff. I think this is about a half inch shaft. It's very standard HVAC stuff. Um, then I found it much easier to run um, conduit and um, that box right there is my um, timer and uh, now all I had was scrap pieces of conduit so if, before I get any comments it just all I had was pieces so it does look pretty bad. So here's my control switches um, so right now it's enabled in auto. This is a single pole switch that just kills power to it. This is a three-way switch that has an automatic and a manual. So I'll draw that out later on. Um, so if I turn this to off, it just kills power to everything. And that is the spring that's taking that door back down. So, that's if I turn it off. Now if I enable it, right now it's daylight, of course, outside. So in auto or open, it's going to be open. But if I always leave it enabled, and if in the middle of the night a chicken didn't get in, you could hit open and it would override the circuit. Um, so, the timer is something I put in. It's just a 10 minute time delay on timer and I put that in there because sometimes the chickens don't get into a little bit after sunset so the longest I could get was 10 minutes with my timer I had lying around so that's what it's got. Um, this actuator is um, by the way it's 120 volts and it is 80 inch pounds so looks like we have about 7 inch arm on here so its pressure is actually um, 80 divided by 7. So, I don't know, like 11 and a half uh, actually foot pounds pick up and push down on this door. Something else I was thinking. Nope, that's it. Alright, I remembered what it was. Um, when you use a photo cell, you're going to have to use a relay to make this work. Because you have to remember a um, a photo cell is going to bring on power at night time to turn on a light and in this case if that happened it would open my door at night and keep it closed during the day so you have to use you could just use a single pole relay single pole double throw go on the normally closed contacts to switch that operation of the photo cell because obviously if I kill power like a photo cell, cell would for your lights outside, it's going to close the door. Now, so you could either use a relay or you could set up your actuator to where when you energize it, it shuts the door and when 
now. When you energize it, yeah, when you energize it, it would shut the door, and the door would spring return up during the day when the photo cell would kill it. So, that's that. Okay, this is the second part of the uh, uh, exciting chicken coop video. So, this is kind of hard to do, but just to show you how I did the wiring is what I was going to lay out here. The only way I know to show you is in ladder logic. So, if we have 120 volts, 20 volts AC, and this is going to be our hot and our neutral, just as an example, you always switch your hots. So if we had a single pole switch, this was a light bulb, our neutral goes straight to our light bulb, and that is how you make a light bulb work. Hot, switches on, light comes on. So, for our chicken coop, well, I'm going to draw it first and then take a video of it. Okay, so to, just to start this off, again we have, this is 120 volts, and this is our hot, which in most cases is your black in your house, and this white is your neutral. Now, so um, we've got... <clears throat> Our hot, and that first switch I showed you was the off enable switch. So if you close that, power will keep going. And then this is that three way switch that was labeled open and auto. Alright, um, so open and auto. This right here I'm showing, this is open. So, your switch is on, enable, power goes through. This is the three-way switch. It can either go here or here. So, doink, it's on open. Power goes through and hits that actuator. So, when it's powered up, that's what makes that damper arm go up. So, next section, I'm going to add the um, timer and the photo cell. Okay, so now I've added when it would flip down here to auto, when it's down here to auto and it's enabled, it'll go through a normally closed set of contacts off my timer. Now that timer is switched by this photo cell that's got a black wire that feeds power to it all the time, the white wire is a neutral, and then the red is what it switches off and on during the day or night. So it wants to turn on the nights, the lights at sunset. So it would energize this. This is a time delay on contacts that's normally closed. So after 10 minutes is what I added this. Um, these contacts, as soon as the sun set, it's going to energize this. 10 minutes later, the set of contacts open up and since our actuator is um, the door is normally closed when these contacts open it has no more source of energy since it's down here the switch and it will close the chicken door so uh, it's a little bit confusing but um, this might at least put you on the right track if you don't have access to a timer and you just want to use a relay you can just make this be a relay here and then just use a normally closed set of contacts so it kind of has to work the opposite of what you'd think. So that's been my video, and, uh, you know, good luck. It is a very, very convenient thing to have. So you just have to, you know, give them food and water about once a week. And besides that, they go in and out, and they're protected at night. So. So I was going to add a few points to my video. Um, I didn't really go over it, but the uh, timer is about a $50 part. Um, doggy door is about 30, actuator 150 at the most. So, you know, you're looking at $250 with the conduit and the wire to do this. Um, that actuator I've shown you operates like fire dampers, things like that. Um, it's made to work for, you know, 10 to 20 years, actuating all the time, and this is only going to work uh, twice a day. Um, with my design, there's no custom parts. All you need is an actuator that fits a half-inch shaft, which is 
basically all actuators. Uh, it's very easy to change it out. If your timer went bad, you can just buy a timer. There's no especially parts that I was seeing with the other uh, chicken coop videos. Some guy made his out of like a computer printer parts or something, you know. So if anything breaks in mine, off the shelf, everything. And most of the other designs I saw just use gravity to uh, drop the door. So you know if you're in an area with a lot of ice storms and snow, um, you know, mine's opening and shutting with, I think I said, like 11 pounds of force. Um, and it's also slow enough. You're looking at 20 second actuation times that, uh, you know, it doesn't turn into a poultry guillotine at any point. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, good luck, and uh, certainly leave me a comment if you uh, do anything like what I did and it ends up working for you, you know. I'd certainly like to see it. So, thank you.